Oh, hey, what's up? Presetting tool length, readjusting run out. Does this sound familiar to you when changing a reaming tool? It doesn't have to. Stay tuned. Welcome to another episode of Johnny's Tooling Time. I'm Johnny, Director Sales Tools here at Irma. And today we're talking about changing an insert, especially on the RX tool family. Changing an insert on the RX system is as easy as it gets. It is as easy as changing a milling or a turning insert. So basically the first step of course is take your tool out of the machine, place it into a tool holder, disassemble your insert and clean your interface. This is the most important thing. And on the RX Small, we even provide you with the cleaning clay. So we got you covered. Just use the cleaning clay to clean your interface, put it back in the box. So simply take a new insert, put it on your insert holder, use the provided torque screwdriver and tighten it up. You don't have to reset your tool length, you don't have to reset your runout again. So, and on the RX Medium, on the cylindrical shanks, it is the same deal. Here, you can see an SD version. The SD stands for central clamping screw. Simply untie your screw and remove your insert. Then, of course, clean your interface. Simply use your air gun to blow it off and get it clean. After that, Take your new insert and put it back on again. And here it comes, a pro tip. To see if your interface is really clean, you can push down the insert while turning it slightly. And if you can feel it sticking to the holder, you're pretty sure that your holder is first of all in a good shape and second is clean. After that, of course, take your screw again, put it on, then take your torque wrench Set it to the right value and that's it. Very, very easy. Of course, also here, no adjustment, no length adjustments, no run out again, as simple as it gets. And on the bigger sizes on the RX Medium, from 36 millimeter up, we don't have cylindrical shanks anymore. We use a modular system, but it's the same deal. Put it into your tool holder, take your screwdriver, untie your screws and simply take your insert off. And here comes the pro tip, sometimes the insert sticks on the interface. If this happens, just use the rubber backside of your screwdriver and give it a little hit. And of course, reassembling the insert is the same deal. Clean up your surfaces again, everything has to be clean. Put your insert on your interface and here another pro tip make sure that you twist your insert against your rotation this ensures that your insert always lays perfectly on your holder and then take your screws screw them back in and of course as always recommended torque them down so that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And again, if you want us to talk about a specific topic, let us know. I'm Johnny, stay tuned.